Good morning, everyone. Um, I wanted to make a video on kind of the some of the things that I've been going through. Um, and I know there's a lot of other people going through them and we're all quote unquote normal, but you look normal. You don't have any tests that are, you're not failing tests. You're passing everything. There's, you can't really put their finger on what's wrong. Um, so I want to kind of share with you what I've gone through, what I found out, the research I've done. So maybe three years ago, I started getting kind of like sporadic twitching. Um, I've always been a pretty high strung person, so pro definitely type A. Um, and it was just be like a twinge, 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 like in this space, like right here in my thumb or my forearm or this forearm or my neck or my pec or my quad or the bottom of my foot. Um, so I went to my general physician, my primary care. Um, he didn't really think anything of it, but it was bothering me because uh, I knew it wasn't quote unquote normal. It's not how my body normally felt. So I have a really good friend that's a neurologist here in Colorado and he's an amazing neurologist, um, helps a lot of people. And I went and saw him um, and I, he, he didn't think anything's wrong, but you know, of course, all the things you're going through in my head are like MS, ALS, some degenerative muscle disease, neurological disease, um, mercury poisoning, Lyme disease, God, who knows what it could be. But anyways, so we do an MRI and MRI comes back fine. So he's like, you know, it's not definitive that you don't have MS. This is a pretty good indicator that you don't have it. So of course that's good enough for me for about a month and then the muscle twitching is still there. So I go and we do an EMG. So we did like my quad and my forend and that turned out good. Um, so then I'm feeling pretty good. That pretty much rules out e, uh, ALS. I mean, in ALS, if you've got fasciculations, you're, you know, the muscles dying off at that point. So generally I would have had a ton of weakness by then and some, uh, muscle atrophy. Um, so that, that was good enough. And then, uh, some, the twitching started to seem to get worse. Like it would go from like a few quick to like, just felt like fireworks, like quad, right quad, left quad, right foot, forearm. And shit, I could have fasciculations all day one day and the next day I might have zero in a minute and the next day might be 20 in a minute. Um, I don't think I have them as bad as some people have them. So that, I apologize to the people that have them that bad because they suck the way that they are, you know, and I don't have them like I said, it was terrible. Some of the other things that went along is my stamina in the gym. Um, exercise tolerance, that's, that would be a good word. Like I just, even with the pre-workout, I had nothing. Um, and I was been an athlete my whole life. I competed in CrossFit, uh, was into powerlifting at the time or strength training. So that being said, three years later, my lifts are still good for like a natural athlete. I, my squats 405 and my deadlifts four something, uh, mid fours, bench has never been good. So, but anyways, my muscle, my strength hasn't decreased, but my tolerance, like it takes, I just, I'm so tired in the gym. I can't do as many sets as I used to. I seem to fatigue quicker. Um, that's more what I feel. And, that, and that's for real. I, I mean, I'm older, I'm 42 now, but I know my body well. I've worked out since I was 12. I mean, I don't think I've missed two weeks in a row ever for the last 30 years. So I, I know my body. Um, I eat healthy. Um, but some of the other things that, you know, the fasciculations I could deal, but then I had that fatigue. I had some brain fog. And then for a while there, I would fall asleep and my legs would like, I would like jerk, like as soon as I started to drip off. Now, drift off, hypnotic jerk or something is what they call it. But I have fallen asleep and drifted off and I twitch and wake myself up or, you know, your partner will do that or the dogs or whatever. Um, but this was like my whole arm. I mean, at one time it flew back, hit the back of the bed and I mean, felt like I was going to punch a hole in the wall. Um, so then I started to kind of develop almost a fear of falling asleep because it would literally happen every time. So 
I'd close my eyes and then I would like jerk. I was afraid I was going to hit my daughter or kick the dog or something like that. So I got super tired. So the more tired you get, the muscle fasciculation seemed to get worse and your fatigue and then you're just, you're just not in a good place. Um, so I talked to my neurologist friend and he said, here, you, let's put you on some Mirapex. You know, I think it's restless leg syndrome. Um, Mirapex is a Parkinson's drug. Um, Parkinson's patients take it at much higher levels. I was taking half of a tablet, a teeny tablet, the size of a shit, I don't know, teeny, teeny tablet. And that seemed to help somewhat. Um, so of course the neurologist, these are benign muscle fasciculations. You don't have anything wrong with you. And that being said, it's been three years and I, nothing's happened. I, I still feel exercise fatigue, um, or intolerance, which can be a sign of benign muscle fasciculations. It's actually like a, uh, less of a tolerance to exercise. Um, I do feel like I don't know if I have more anxiety now because of the fasciculations or if the anxiety was something else and the fasciculations are manifested um, because of your anxiety. So I'm, <laughs> I, I, I've got a ton of knowledge. I did hundreds and hundreds of hours of research, but at first I just wanted to kind of give you guys a brief synopsis of what I've gone through, share symptoms, um, and feel free to message me. Um, with your symptoms or if you want to call me or whatever, I'd be more than happy because, you know, I look normal. I look like a healthy guy that works out, but I feel like shit. Um, so I, I know there's plenty of others out there. Um, there's some things I'm going to try. Um, they say caffeine exacerbates the symptoms, can. So I was drinking a monster pre-workouts and I'm sure that wasn't helping. So it's been three days lowering my caffeine. I'm drinking matcha um, now, which is like 35 milligrams of caffeine as opposed to the 400 a day I was probably getting. So they, too early to say, um, but there's some other things I'm going to do or some other ideas I have, or if you guys have ideas, like I said, I'm more than interested in discussing those. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.